Immersed Robot. Hello everyone, welcome to Immerse Robot again and in this video I wanted to take a quick look at A Township Tale which is an RPG crafting game, it's available on Steam at the moment and it's also coming to Oculus Quest on July the 15th. So this was a request by somebody who watches the channel and they wanted just to see how the game performs on my system which is uh, the full specs are in the description to this video but it's a RTX 3080 with a Ryzen 5 56 600x so i went into this game you have a sort of a character creation starting area and then you're into this large tutorial area now this is the first time i've played this game so i didn't want to spend too long in this this is going only going to be a very quick video so i'm mainly just going around this first tutorial area which is actually quite a large tutorial area in all honesty so you can see here i'm running steam vr super sampling at 100 percent and i've got the valve index at 90 hertz which is running a relatively solid 90 frames per second and um, there are occasional dips here and there but generally you can get pretty solid performance on that level now i did go in and try to look for sort of in-game graphical settings but i couldn't really find them in all honesty so i don't know if i just couldn't find them but they are there or if there are no in-game graphical options which is a little bit strange if there aren't because of course this is the steam vr version you would expect some kind of uh, graphical options in this game but uh, if not then this is just sort of the standard settings anyway. So I just tested that you can adjust the Steam VR Super Sampling on the fly and that did work so I bumped it up to 150% and you can see that I'm still maintaining pretty solid 90 FPS in this section. Now it probably goes into a more open world after this tutorial section so I didn't get that far. You have to, it sort of forces you to progress through all of these different tutorials and it was taking me a little bit of time to do that so since this is not really my kind of game it's not, it was a request I just wanted to give a initial impression of how this runs in this area and hopefully this gives some guidance anyway so i just wandered around this area for a little while and yeah pretty much maintaining solid 90 fps without issue really I went into the Steam VR dashboard and changed the refresh rate of the index up to 120 hertz. And at 150% Steam VR super sampling, it wasn't really able to maintain that, so it was settling down on 60 FPS. So I'd lowered Steam VR super sampling back down to 100%. And apart from a few initial problems, um, it then settled down onto 120 FPS native. And just wandering around this first little section here in this tutorial area it was able to maintain that pretty solidly there were problems here and there in certain areas but not too much really it was running really nicely at 120 frames per second on those settings i dropped it back down to 90 hertz and then upped the steam vr super sampling to 150 percent because i did notice that there were some aliasing issues when i had it on 100 percent steam vr super sampling so i wanted to remove those a little bit and just uh, increase Increase the super sampling just to get rid of those sort of jaggies and those kinds of things and it helped it looked a lot better and it's probably this is probably the the setting that I prefer out of the two in all honesty a slightly lower frame rate but getting a, a little bit better clarity in the headset and you can see for the most part that with these GPU frame timings here and CPU frame timings as well they're very low in this section so um, I decided that we could probably push things up a little bit further in the Steam VR super sampling side, so I increased it up to 200%. And generally as well, we were still able to maintain relatively solid 90 FPS in this area. Now, I believe after sort of 150% Steam VR Super Sampling, you start to get diminishing returns. And there wasn't a huge difference in terms of clarity between 150 and 200, but some people might be able to see it and prefer that. And just to give the result here, you can see the frame timings here are going up around two milliseconds when running at 200% Steam VR Super Sampling rather than that 150%. So it's, you know, you can choose which one you prefer. If you prefer that much more solid 90 FPS, because there will still be occasional drops here and there at those 200%. But um, yeah, if you prefer that much more solid, much safer 90 FPS, then stick to that 150% Steam VR super sampling. 
But overall, I really enjoyed my very brief time in A Township Tale. Now, I've got to progress a little bit further through the tutorial and get into the game proper, but I really wasn't too fussed about playing this originally, and then this has sort of given me the bug to try it a little bit more, perhaps. And I'll put a link in the description to this video where you can download it. It's free, so you can uh, download it and give it a try for yourself. And again, it's coming out on the Oculus Quest on the 15th of July, so you can look out for that too if you prefer that kind of format but you know overall it's a it's a great game there are a few assets that i've seen in a few other games but i'm not going to hold that against it indie developers have limited resources and they have to do what they have to do in order to get the assets that they require in order to put into a game so that's all fine and the general look of it is really nice it's got this cartoony feel but it performs really consistently which is probably one of the most important things it looks great so yeah take a look at it and see if you think it's for you or not but this was a request so I wanted to just do a very brief video just to show how it performs on my system but thank you for watching and I'll see you next time please consider supporting Immerse Robot on Patreon or joining the Discord or following me on Twitter or better yet all of the above links in the description below